Hello everyone, it's Galina and thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to play with my mixed media tools to create a fun Easter card. As you may know, you can use your stencils not only with inks, you can use them with any kind of mixed media medium. For today's card I'm going to use a white mixed media texture paste. And I'm applying this paste through the stencil on a pink A2 card panel. And after it dries, it will keep this white color on a colored cardstock. I applied it with a large palette knife, and now I'm carefully removing the stencil. And while the paste is still wet, I'm going to add just a little bit of shine on those cute bunnies and eggs, and I'm applying a white glitter over the paste. And I'm lightly tapping the glitter with my finger to stick it well to the paste. I hope my camera can catch a beautiful shine on some of those bunnies. And now I leave the card panel to dry and I can create other elements of my card. I cut a large circle in the largest die from fancy circle die set. I cut it out from a light blue cardstock and also I found in my storage envelope this beautiful leftover die cut from a white glitter cardstock. And I will use it today for my card. Next I'm going to stamp a super cute image from Kobe's mini Easter stamp set and I'm going to stamp on a white cardstock using my favorite Copic friendly ink, Memento Black ink and I'm stamping it twice to make a nice crisp image. And to color this cute image I'm going to use alcohol-based Copic markers. You may use any color medium you may have, even inks to color this image. And I will use my Copic markers and I pick some light color Copic markers to create a delicate image for my light color card. If you're interested in colors I use to color this image, you can check out our blog with all additional information and some inspirational photos. So don't forget to check it out, I will leave the link to the blog in the video description below. And after my coloring is done, I can cut out this image using a coordinating die. Also I color it the egg with a shimmer pen to add a more shine on the card. And to create the sentiment I decided to use the same stamp set with a little Kobe bear and I'm going to heat emboss it on a craft card stock using a white embossing powder. Now I'm going to foam mount all the elements for my card. I'm starting with a larger circle. I place some square foams on the back of the die cut and I'm attaching to the card panel. Also I attach all other elements to the card. So here's my finished fancy card with a lot of shine and I hope you like this card and you will try the mixed media techniques with your stencil. Don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave your questions down below in the comment section and I will see you next week. Bye!